My name is Mitchell Anderson. I'm the owner, creator, and head chef at Metro Fresh in Midtown Atlanta. Chef, thank you so much for coming in today. Nice to see you. Thank you. Metro Fresh is unique in the fact that your menu does change every day. Right. Our lunch and dinner menu changes every day, and items on our breakfast menu change as well. Um, we essentially take produce and make soups and salads out of it, and we are incredibly creative on a daily basis. For the breakfast menu, we have some basics, but in that we also change it. Today I brought some super healthy stuff and some, you know, super comforting stuff. Love so it. this is our maple berry quinoa, and quinoa is a healthy grain. It has a lot of protein in it. It's absolutely delicious. This is gluten-free. You're going to eat this and feel great after you eat it. Feel really um, healthy. This is our gluten-free muffin of the day. Today it happens to be peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Go figure. <laughs> and a nice bowl of fruit. If you want to go a little more decadent, our smoked Gouda grits and eggs topped mm. with a little salsa fresca. The smoked Gouda grits People go crazy. You know, me and Jennifer are just staring I know, right? at her Jennifer, right now. She's, she's <laughs> totally <laughs> hovering in the back of the house. How do you guys so come up with good. these combinations? We, we're just good at it. Yeah. You know, it's, really, it's a really fun way to cook for us because you're not doing the same things every day. Right. What we're going to do today is the Sarah's special. I'm going to get a couple of eggs going here because they're going to take a minute. Um, Sarah's special is a paleo friendly thing. This has a little bit of coconut milk in it, mm. so it's, it's kind of sweet and naturally. This is. Okay, so we're I'm so far these eggs. Tried these two. I'm working my way around. <laughs> for Sarah's special, we look for whatever kind of protein is in the refrigerator that day. Okay. I like to do a little bit of sausage um, out of the casing, whatever it is. And then we're going to put a little bit of arugula on the bottom of this. Ooh. And I'm going to. This is fantastic looking. Flip this egg over. I know, isn't it? It's, How do you do uh, your eggs so perfectly? I know, he just flipped it and, and it lands like, perfectly. Practice, practice, and practice. it looks perfect. Mine flips on the floor. That's not what my eggs look like <laughs> when I make them. Okay, so then I've got a little bit of avocado. Can't go wrong with avocado, ever. And let's put that on top. Yum. And then I like um, radish sprouts. They're also called bacon sprouts. Oh, okay. It's going to be a little bit um, oniony. And there nice. you go. That's the Sarah special, paleo Ugh, friendly. And that we had this amazing. A version of this on the menu every single day. Absolutely. I grew up in Western New York, and one of the things that inspires me is things that are in season when they're supposed to be in right. season. Right. So during corn season, we had corn every single night. During <laughs> right. during I love um, that. strawberry season, every single night we had right. strawberries in some different form. Peaches right now in uh. Georgia are. Amazing. Beautiful. You're going to do a quarter of a cup of coarsely chopped walnuts, mm. some golden raisins or cranberries or regular raisins. Now the trick is we're going to make the dressing. Oh, yummy. When you use powdered curry or any other sort of aromatic spice like cinnamon or clove or cardamom, you want to get some heat under it to, to release the flavor of the spice. So I've got grapefruit juice. I've got a little... Um, uh, maple syrup, and then I'm just going to toss in a little bit of blended oh oil. Oh my gosh, yum. To make this dressing. Beautiful. Okay, and then oh, that looks we're so gonna good. We're going to pour it over our salad. Oh, it is my lunchtime for sure. Uh, the crew thanks you in advance. Mitchell, there it is we always... go. This is a typical dinner that we would have on the menu, especially in the summer when we're trying to do. Uh, really light, healthy stuff that is going to help you with your calorie counts. Yes. And um, you can use a gluten free pasta for this, a okay. whole wheat pasta. And the thing that I My really kids like favorite used here, also about this dish for a hot summer day is that you can use a pasta that you've already cooked. I've got uh, zucchini, wow, squash, and that. asparagus already diced. Just beautiful. Um, first, I'm going to deglaze the pan with about a cup of white wine. It's nice. gonna smell awesome. Ah, oh, this is so good. This is a pasta that you can add absolutely anything to it. So to this, we're gonna add about a pint of cherry tomatoes that, that have been cut in half. Great. So uh, we're getting, I don't know if you can see that. Look we're, at we're how getting, gorgeous that yeah, is. Yeah, a lot of great color. I have the pasta that I've cooked earlier. Look at how gorgeous this is. And then I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna just toss it. I see we've got some Parmesan. Right? Shavings. So you can go ahead and put fresh mozzarella. Yum. Is it? There yeah. we go. Oh right my out. goodness! And then you add the shavings at the very end, right? And I I top it with some um, shaved parmesan. All right. Thank you so so See, much. I, I appreciate it. And so quick. Seven minutes. 
Start and you're to good finish, to go. And you're good to go. See you go. Thank you, Chef. Thanks for you. Phantom, yeah, you know it. So great to see you. So great to see you.